Okay, so here we have the new movement and you're gonna need one of these. These are available like on eBay or um, other sites that you can get clock oil, just Google clock oil. Uh, best place to do it is in eBay. It won't cost you that much. And what you want is like a stem, at least six, seven inches long, not a uh, short stem. So here's the new movement. Now, you're not gonna be able to get um, to this area from the front because the dial is in the way and the last thing I want you to do is remove your movement. I don't want you to do that. So I want, uh, Philip is gonna show you how to go from the bird's eye on the top of the clock and looking down into these areas here. He's gonna hit these pivots here. Everywhere there's a wheel there. And at this point, new movement should never be handled with bare human hands. Uh, like the other one was so he's going to show you where to lubricate and he's going to point and he's just going to put a tiny little tiny less than a drop in each and every pivot and we'll, we'll show you where the pivots are from the front and you're not going to oil any teeth at all you now you would ask yourself why we're taking a new movement and putting our lubrication in when the factory um, already lubricates it. Well, there's a phenomena behind that. Um, I, we don't trust the factory in lubricating um, their movement, so we want to be rest assured that the clock has proper lubrication. We, have an, we want a, an assured reliance that it's lubricated. The last thing we want to do is put a new movement in someone's clock and a year later it's starting to wear see how he's finding those pivots right there everything that goes around you'll be able to see sometimes the lever system like he's hitting there and or over oiling is a no-no Basically anything that uh, moves except for the teeth. Now, you couldn't see, you can't, you're not gonna be able to get to this area here because the dial's here, remember? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in here and match it. And there's a pen right here, uh, oil as well. And there's also one on the other side. There's a pin on what we call the, First wheel there. I don't know if you can see that pin, but I'll, can you point to it there? It's very important right there. Okay, but here on this side, we have the same area here, but we don't have to go in from the bird's eye view because we have access to the back. So that's where he's gonna hit the back. And here's what we call a tiny superstructure. So he's gonna concentrate on this area right here. So he's gonna hit it from the inside, from the outside, or from the inside there. Now you won't be able to move as quick as he is because he's experienced in the targeting areas. But he's getting in between those superstructures.
either. Okay, and then this is a critical area. Go ahead. You're going to reach in this area right here and you're going to see an anchor where he's getting it and it's okay to do that area. So from the bird's eye view, here's the leader. Remember that part on the other one that I'll show you was bent. Goes up to here. And then this is the area that you're going to concentrate on. He's going to move it back and forth. That and then this point right here on the other side of it has to be lubricated. Very important. You can see the wheel there moving. Okay, and that's how to service that clock. Here's Clyde's clocks here. What's gonna happen here is it's gonna be treated. As you can see, all of that there is gonna be removed and everything will look brand new. The treatment will help with these scars, these scratches um, on both clocks. What we're going to do is we're going to revive his finish without altering any of his authorship of the, the clock. And then the old movement is uh, right here. And as you can see, this area here was very critical. And this pivot here and there and there is completely worn out. So the best way to understand on this old movement too, and the new new movement is the clocks have three trains. It's one, two, and three. And each one is connected to another one above. So what you want to do is follow these, see? Here, 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 and here, and then here. And if you'll see one hiding right here. And that's how to lubricate the clock. The other part too is behind the moon dial is important and an ignored area. So this is your dial. And from the bird's eye view, you can hit these areas. You're going to probably need, earlier I told you, you're going to need a, uh, a longer stem on the uh, oiler. So probably get a longer one That's close enough and then you hit it here right, right where you just hit it right there okay. and there's a pen you can see on the inside yeah right there's a pin on that wheel and he hits that too and then this is going to be ozoned and cleaned and from here on we don't touch any of these things uh, this is the moon dial here it's Purely ornamental, but in the old days, the fathers of the country or whoever, whatever have you, entrepreneurs, barons back in the 1800s had moon dials on their clocks and they would adjourn after brandy and drinking and talking and discussing business and things like that. Wearing their black and white suits, they would adjourn to the nighttime and they knew because the moon dial was teaching them or letting them know that that uh, there would be moonlight so they would carriage through the trails at two o'clock in the morning and these were called the lunatics and these right here stand for the four gospels as you can see the face there, right there this is the chapter ring here and I explained the rest of it. Lord, through this hour, be thou our guide, so by thy power, no feet shall slide. Dong, dong. So as you can see, these numbers here, which we call indicators, when you call them numbers, but we call them in indicators in horology, those are in a chapter ring because we're on borrowed time. And then believe when it strikes, dong, dong, dong. Uh, it'll tell us that, like I said, 10 out of 10 vessels have passed away from dust you came. Um, and that's, that's the way that yeah, it works in horology. So good luck on oiling your clock. Or was it a common thing to do for...